going to be her. Oh, no. <sighs> Fuck. Okay then. Okay. I don't know how long, how much longer I can stick my head out for her if she's going to surround herself with these people, Gobum. And if we've... I'm... If people find out that she spilled secrets to the Inquisitor, you know what happens to her. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Quick one. Fake. Okay. Well, thank you all for telling me that. And yes, I am going to speak to her tonight about it specifically. All right. I trust you. I just hope she can listen to reason. Anyway. Otherwise. I'll um, get out of your right. head. <laughs> well. Always a pleasure doing business, of course. If you need anything else. <sighs> Thank you, Gobum. You are a shining beacon well, in an otherwise darkened town. Oh, oh, that was good. That was very nicely <laughs> couched, my lord. Very nice. Yes. Doing all right. I heard about what happened. And down. I have put good, quite a good few men on those ships. If only I was there, but then again. <laughs> Basil would have slapped me again if I didn't let her know. A fate worse than death. You wanted to talk to me. I think I've been made a little privy as to what about. Shall we talk? Of course, something quick. Unless. I think you're late for our scheduled appointment. Of course, hmm? forgive me. Apologies, Soma. Anyway, Another time. Thank you. Afraid I have to steal him from your Soma. Do not worry. It's fine. Lead the way. In one of these days, you should really tell me where you know me from. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Hmm. Besides, I think there's things you know that I want to know. For me. What you mean? Excuse me, ladies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Handsome. Not too auspicious for you, my lord, is it? No. Haven't been up into this top room for a while, though. Really pulling out all the much. stops, are we? Ah. Privacy. What right. I'm good at. 
Shame. Unfortunately, taken. you need to go back outside, Sunny. I have this. <sighs> Not as private as you wanted. You think when you res You would think when you reserve a room, people would leave it for you. That looked pretty packed out. Hmm. Interesting that the farmer has enough sons. Very. Hmm. I'm sure you have no stakes, uh, yeah? DM DM clarification, one moment. Hmm. As the uh, two of you had been approaching the door, uh, it would have been blocked on the other side. That's fine. Get the fuck out of here. I, I want to go up. I want to go in that one. Please, can I go into that room instead? Yeah, go ahead. You can go by yourself. <laughs> I'm oh sure there's god. something great waiting for you on the other side. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm hearing an assault. Yeah. Have you seen the shit on the tables in there? I have, actually. Don't, don't make me go into that room. Right. Assault. You think you would get an ounce of privacy somewhere? Really? I suppose the same old, same old will have to do. Hmm? Whatever makes you Might comfortable. Might look a little scandalous for a lordling. <laughs> Might be a little scandalous for a lord to be found with a bathhouse girl. Inside the schoolhouse? It's where most lessons are taught, no? Hmm. suppose so. You think I have lessons to teach you? No. Hm. You'd be wrong. <clears throat> People are practicing in the fields. Not for a bathhouse. Damn. Everywhere we go. Interesting. The monk. Teaching someone to ride the horse? <sighs> Maybe a romantic getaway on the beach. I'm shocked you've tailed along for the ride this long. Well, you said you wanted to Who talk knows? to me. I could have been leading you into danger. Something, something, my middle name, danger, something, something. I'm always in danger. Ah. Uh. I doubt Even ever. more so getting involved with the Viper. <laughs> yes, and I doubt he would uh, be very pleased if you just often fucking murked me for no reason. If I gave him a good reason, you never know. You have that much sway over him. Been with him for a long time. Ah, that might be my horse. Yes, he's been struggling with the new saddles. <laughs> I don't think we can get away from anything cursed. I, I don't think we can. All right, so hear me out. We swim across the channel. Right. All right, I'm listening. And then... This place sucks. <laughs> fuck notice. You've been with him a long time, huh? An old crew? Maybe. You're prying for information? Just curious more than anything. That's supposed to be my job. <clears throat> well? Just 
the scariest why you would want to get involved. He uh. says you have history. Or at least some sort of hatred. To him? No. No, the dread knives, you fool. Ah, uh, yes. But you said you knew me from before. I figured you already knew that. Hmm. Oh, you think I'm a threat knife? No. I don't know that much about you. Hmm. But I might be able to help you more than he can. Old statement. Hmm. No, he knows it too. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening to you first. You see, for me to give my information and help you, I want to know why you need to know. Okay, we'll go tit for tat. Ask away. Hmm. Why do you hate them? What's the grudge? I ran with the crew once, and they betrayed me. Linked up with the dread knives. So they're knives now? Yes. Hmm. And so you want them dead? Yes. I wanted them dead before they joined the Dread mm. Knives, to be fair. And nothing changes your mind on their death? Are you offering something? No, not at all. I'm just asking how committed you are to the goals. Very. Hmm. Your dad know? He knows I do things without telling him. He doesn't know specifics. No idea about the dread knife? Ah. Fair enough. Now you. <laughs> Where do you know me from, specifically? No more dancing around it. Eh? Huh? Adwick. Uh, you see how I walk around the city now? Mm-hmm. I did the same there. Interesting. Mingled with the people. Never clocked you. You're good at your job. That I am. Was that for the Viper as well, or for personal reasons? Three of us got out. Including him. At your service. I'm good at what I do. Did you know the Viper before that? I'm heartless. <laughs> Digging deep into history, are we? You've dug into mine. Tit for tat. <laughs> Trained me. Wow. When does he teach you how to turn invisible? I'd love that one. I know, right? But no. But I'm pretty good at getting away. If you get out but of that, I don't Adelaide, want to yes. from here. No. Not yet. Mm. You have business or you have attachments? Little of both, maybe. <laughs> Two years of not being. Um, I'll put it nicely. A murderous little bitch. Changes you a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I know how you feel. Hmm. <laughs> but I have commitments. And attachments. In more ways than one. 
And if you decided to I stay might be able in the bunker, would be okay with that. You can go. And I go quickly <sighs> if I were you. Me? No, you're staying right here. Ah. Uh. Kill Nafna. No. no. <laughs> oh, come on, boys. This is no Get fun. <laughs> oh, boys. Kill that one too. I didn't even Kill come on. Arm. Might have lied like usual. With a 15, despite their incredible skill, you're able to hold off enough, keeping them at bay. Throwing knife. With a fifteen, it lands deep in their in their leg as they collapse to the ground. He's just gonna start stepping on the knife. Killing her. Speak quick. It's the job. From who? Oh, you know how this works. People want her dead. Max, we take the money, we do as we're told. We don't ask the questions. You make strange friends. Uh, don't like my company? This one's alive if you want to talk to him. Oh. Sweetheart, who sent you? People. They, they want names. you gone. Didn't give us names. Only coin. Oh, must have not been a lot of coin. I wonder how much coin you have on you, hmm? Where is it? Hmm? None. Not here. Not ah. stupid. <laughs> oh no, you're pretty stupid for coming after me. I'll tell you that much. Uh, shame you don't have any information, no? That makes you worthless. You've ever been paid for a job you know nothing about. Hmm. You want to change your mind? I'm waiting. No? Don't know. Don't know. Forgive me. I could have been clean. But my dagger's still in that one. Dare I ask? Not a clue. Well. Wish I had an answer. 
Someone knows you. You should have given me it. Oh, who doesn't? <laughs> but they knew my name. Don't like that. Hmm. <laughs> Notice if you want to keep babysitting me, you can. I'm fine. I doubt they had any reinforcements. Very well. <laughs> Love your fun stalking in the woods. Shut in. <sighs> well, you certainly have. Oh, you see why I'm called Sunny. <laughs> certainly know how to have a fun evening. Hmm. Bright as the sun. You know, sort of thing. Mm hmm. Joyous, delightful. I inspire the whole lot. Inspired that one pretty good. Yeah. Do what you have to. Oh. Stay alive. <laughs> I'll talk to Aegon. <laughs> My hero! No. no. Just some jumped up brigands. I was... And I'm not going to ask who that was that walked off. It's none of my business. Man from the woods. However, hmm. Unlikely. What's going on? Were you attacked by random bandits? Well, I was talking to Sonny, and uh, they came up and said they wanted to kill me for a ransom. So naturally, I hmm. fucking slaughtered Welcome them. Welcome to nobility. Yes. I'm learning that today. Tried the. No. Nope. <laughs> right tried the. Welcome you. Tried the bathhouse. Tried the school. Tried to get a little bit of privacy, and then you come to the beach, and your day is ruined. It's a shame. Yes, I tried to get privacy at the bathhouse too, but a woman kept offering to give me a massage and calling me handsome while I was trying to just clean. That's what they do at the bathhouse. But I should have expected nothing less. Yes, you should know, know that by now with us. I know. I know. Do you want to turn with me? Hang on, I mean, I can head back. No. <laughs> I do not. I have zero interest in those indulgences. Are you hmm. alright, injured? Anything like that? I think I'm okay. <sighs> no. Good. Seems fine. Well, hmm? Thanks for the concern, though, Aegon. Of course. I think your old man would kill me if I did not at least keep an eye on you to a degree. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, to be fair, I would have done it without uh, fear of him looming over my head. You just like killing people. Mm. Yeah. Not as much as you might think. Mm. I do it when I want to. Mostly when it's necessary. Well, if you excuse me, I have some things I need to enjoy. <laughs> of course. Um, probably away from the corpses, and I'm sure Arco will probably eat those, so I would just leave them. Have fun. No, please come back. Oh. <clears throat> Oof. Hard crash. Okay. I was going to say a really fucked line as well. <laughs> mm. 
What were you gonna say? No, no, no. <laughs> Something about making love on top of the corpses of your enemies to Sunny. There's like really fucked and out of left pocket for Kyla. <laughs> Because Aegon was like, you should move away from the bodies, and I was going to have Kyla turn to her and be like, eh? <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Hey, Ree. <clears throat> the downside about um, the daylight savings thing is that while I can sleep in longer, the session starts later, which means it goes on for longer too. <clears throat> Junkie frames. Lupus, before you go. What? I need to get back in map. Uh, what are you immediately doing? I'm out with people. You're out with people? Will you be back anytime soon or no? I'll just talk I'll just talk about it with you uh next session. Yep, I'll try and find you if I can. I'm back. Here he is. <sighs> Life sucks sometimes, I get it. I know. So, so like I was saying, I have no potion and a squirt back. Oh. Since it's dark. Unless you have more to ask? I'm holding my hand out for you, you can't tell. I have no idea. I'm blind. I know, it was just funny watching you look so lost. So you really just wanted to come and talk, that was it. That was it. Though I did have an offer. If you blabbed. I'm good at information. I'll see what I can find for you. I would you have a name that. that I need to find? Anything to do with anyone called Deltone? Hmm. Thanks a bit. See what I can do. That's worrying. Besides. Besides. I saw that one that the girls caught. I've been bloodletting him for a few days, ever since they got him. But Bennett. I'll see if I can make him scream out that name. Yeah, Bennett. I've been playing with him. Seeing if he'll give me any information. Should I be more careful around you then? <laughs> no. I have no reason to hurt you. Good. I have no want to do so. Normally when you people come and contact me, it involves going out and killing a bunch of people. This was a I pleasant conversation. Hmm. I 
like I said, a few years away from how shitty it was changes things a bit. I understand exactly how Just you feel. Just don't tell the Viper. Yeah. Sometimes I don't have a choice. I'm surprised he's not watching us now with his special little vanishing oh, trick. Oh, he probably is. That's why Lothus probably jumped in. Well, as long as I don't earn his ire. Oh no, not like some. Well, I'm not looking at you like that. <laughs> it was a pleasure, Sunny. I have work <laughs> to do. Same with you. Is it Kyla or Sharik we're going by? Kyla, I suppose. That's the public one. Hmm. Understood. You, um, keep Who your wits about escort? you. Uh, where to? <laughs> <laughs> Tavern. If you would. Of course. Hmm. Hi. I know that voice. How are you doing? Good. good. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Uh, Garam's cooking a fresh chicken. Should be ready in a little while. Ooh, I haven't eaten today, actually. Perfect. That's exactly where we were headed. Which one's holding my hand? Oh, I can hold your, uh, your um, left, right, right hand, and then he can hold your left hand. Good, that'll probably look better Yay. to the bomb anyway. <laughs> yeah, I follow, like, the past, like, half hour, at least, maybe an hour, I was just following a chicken around, and so Hermie grabbed it by the neck and brought it to the bomb. <laughs> I wonder about you sometimes, Toti. It's free food! We followed it, it's our chicken now! Hi. Pardon. Hi. <laughs> Evening, Aegon. Wait for me. <laughs> Hello? 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 Light here now. Hello. No, Thank definitely you. of that size. <laughs> <laughs> could you tell tell what what else that, that could have been? Told you I'd come back. Uh, I if anything, we can first. follow the report and see if we can try and help out as much as we can. I suppose it's too late to start training tonight. I think I got. Well, it's good thing we're both here because mm, maybe five more just orcs. I, I, I don't. I, I didn't get a good look. I was riding. I was looking off um, to the left, looking at the sunset, and I hear movement to my right. I look to the right, and I'm thrown off the cart. I don't know how the hell I survived, but I just ran. Yes, it was just me. I, I run a, a cart service. I, I people pay me. I take them to go look at good look locations. That's all I do. That's how I make my money. So this was a gray. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, you don't have to. I, I, I think it's tall. tall, really fucking tall, though. Okay, then. I guess that leaves me a little more breathing. The bathhouse, if you left for me. Well, Sergeant, the man's a lucky soul who managed to survive the almost, probably the impossible. Hey, I'm surprised to see you back already. I thought you'd still be out there with Arnold. Yeah, don't trust me, I know it's taken. I've already tried to barge in there. No, some, one of us needed to stay here and handle the diplomatic side of things. I don't know, maybe mercenaries could go for it later, another day? Interesting. Why well, bring you all the way out there just to send you back? Anything else other than the color of its skin that when? Today? Something that could be remembered by. No. Uh, the other day, no. when you all departed no. together, all the way out there. Sort of. When you're all the way out there, just to send you back the next day. I intended on staying, admittedly. But it was more to send people off. <laughs> well. My lord? I suppose without more than a the council will need you as well. Exactly. The Lord will not be there either. Up the road. Oh my god. Do you need of me this evening? I don't believe so unless you can fix my eyes. Further down the road. A bit. Uh, I can give it a go. Um, my hands are a bit shaky though.
Mine are two sharps, though. I think Unless you want, you know. I think that's all you'd probably tell me. So. You're probably about to be crazy. Um, um, tomorrow. For the treatment I'll come find you. Alright. Sure thing. Got to catch up on a few things, and there's one or two pretty important bits. I'll fill you in later. Alright. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Sit here. Rest for now. You're waiting for someone, that. No, I'm just taking a breather. As long as it's not outside of the city. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, it's just a busy day. In uncomfortable situations and just a long day. That's all. I don't know, hire mercs or something. Joe, get back. I suppose I can understand that. Yeah. Politics are not my strong point. I dodged. I dodged all that shit when I was free from the prover. Lucky you. Sometimes I wonder if I had gone into that sort of life, but I just wanted to be away from the cities. Wait, from politics? Yeah, I get that. Do you regret it? Regret what? Phil agreed and silver tongues, nobility. It was less about the title, it was more about who I'm with, you know? Oh, not to follow that man, I will say. Exactly. Well, I suppose if anyone can show you the way, it's definitely him. No one talks the way he does. I used to think it was big shoes to fill, but now I realize as long as I'm just walking the same path, it's pretty good. Yes. You know, I've always hated that saying. Shoes to fill. Thanks for uh, catching me. Personally, I find it wiser to walk in your own shoes the whole way rather than try to follow someone else's. Because while you could fill in those shoes one day, you won't walk the same. Well, I'm assuming she answers my question then. Can I ask if someone helps you? It's different when you have a legacy to uphold, you know? A house name, a colors, banners, you know? Just... I'm afraid that would be beyond me, Lord. I don't have much of a legacy myself. I'm pretty much the beginning of one. Egg on the wolf. That's something. That's a legacy separate from the one I desire. I'd rather leave that when it's no longer useful to me. <clears throat> Simpler things. Family man, perhaps. Family has always been something I've desired and hoped to preserve. Though what life has proven cruel in that regard, I know more than any other person alive that you can stop there. Not at your lowest. So, I continue forward. Maybe I will achieve what I desired once again. And if I don't, I just cherish what I did. You want to talk the to me? We can wait on our conversation if you'd like, but... <sighs> no, let's get it out of the way. Alright, somewhere private. Yep. <sighs> Thanks for the talk, Egon. It's nice to uh, connect. Shall we? Of Maybe course. Take we'll care. Uh, I'll fall a bit far behind. I know the light is uh, bright when I turn it on. You're a kind man. Fenton, right? No, uh, Vicar. Ah, forgive me. 
I was, uh, the first sergeant got injured and, well, people forgot about me really fast, but... Huh. Sorry, things moved quick after the Capitano's defeat. I... I know. How can I be of assistance, Sergeant? More personal talking, nothing business-related, I guess. Very well. Obviously, I know time had moved very fast when, uh, you know, everything, uh, happened. But I cannot live with myself knowing what I had done. For... <sighs> With... I was the Capitano's right-hand man. I was the sergeant always at his side. I was the one who carried a lot of punishments. I was there when we broke... Well... The main blacksmith's hand, or well, Lord, Lord Erhardt's hand, and... At his arm as well. I... <sighs> I'm not doing this just because of the position you're in. I'm doing this because I can't live with myself with the facts that I've done. I've already talked to Soma as if I've done wrong by him. And had a conversation with you, him, but... I need to make up for it somehow. I'm not really a forgiving type, usually. I know. Especially after that. I know a lot of the things that I've done. It wasn't... the breaking of arms... or... the extortion... or the beating... or... the butcher... of those friends close to mine... that upset me the most. When I was a kid, I lived in Corocatus. I had nothing to my name. And I saw the town's guard walking around. And I looked to them as a priest would to their god. They were these shining beacons of justice and they were supposed to protect the people. And the more I've lived my life, the more I've seen how wrong I was. You were supposed to protect the people. Once as well. I joined the guard after my sister was killed. Butchered in, well, what's now known as Stabber's Alley. Because I grew up just like you. I was blinded by the same thing. How could you be I led so astray? By fear. <laughs> he trusted me with everything he showed me where he hid his broken night killer that he stole from a dying imperial on a mission that we went on he trusted me with the map to all the goods that he got on that mission over 15 something gold worth of stuff I know if I left the guard, I'd be dead the next few days. I did D everything he asked. Don't suppose that 15 gold is still laying around, is it? I wasn't looking for it. 
<laughs> he took it when he left. All dug up. I'm not just saying that because I lied in my pockets. Not my interest. People do terrible things when they feel they don't have a choice. I've done so. I've seen it done. But that was a different time. And I know I would, now... I would rather die than follow someone into a dishonorable act. These are the values that I hold. And I hope... People like you and the rest of the guard carry them too. You are supposed to be the paragons of our society, our protectors. It's definitely something we are changing. Represent it. Most of the guard are still following the old ideals, not caring about things. When that mud pie was thrown at Torty, the guard next to me didn't want to do anything, just laugh it off and walk away. Hell, we just took a caravan to try to go to Cassetto. We made it over the first bridge, ambushed by orcs, and had to retreat. We sent one of our best men, Leo, to try to deliver a message, and Leo's horse came back. We're going to start training the men, because we lost all of our trainers when they left to help the Capitano. You'll be trained in a few different and things in the good. next coming days. You need to be a beacon for what the guard should be. You are a sergeant. You need to impose these values on the people around you. You can't blame a Capitano now. If you want to atone oh for the things that you have done, it starts with this. I would already plan on doing that stuff, but... Silma said the same thing, to focus on the present, don't dwell on the past. Change your actions by fixing them now. But I still feel like I owe you something. Not as a lord, back when you were Shariq. Then live your life with honor, and partake the values in other people. That's how you can repay me. Don't let this happen again. That's all I ask of you. If you do that, then consider yourself redeemed in my eyes. Okay. Well, see, the same thing I said to Soma. If you ever need anything, help. I know you, well... I already am under you at this point, but anything at all I can get done. Politics shifts and moves a lot beneath the surface of the lake that we all share. It'll be good to have closer allies like you around. Can I count on you oh, to do these things? The town just... Yes. It's one thing that we're dealing with. I'm sure you heard the three mercs that beat up the Imperial. That's the first thing I'm starting with. I was going to handle that with Noses in the morning, actually. Can you tell me anything about what happened? Because I've heard a few conflicting accounts. <sighs> Everything is against them. There's reports, I reports, there's even a witness that overheard um, one of the mercs saying, let's beat up this Imperial, and then followed them. There's about seven I reports against them, and only I report with them, and that is Miss Basil, which, no offense to her, she's always been very sided and would change her opinion on stuff. Yesterday, when we had arrested them, we brought them up to the keep, we heard the conflicting the reports, and the staff sergeant said, I don't want it to happen to get it, uh, again, I will let it go. So, we let them free. 
I was gonna do a small- I was gonna send, uh, my good friend Marco to do a small investigation to see if he knew anything else, because in my mind, the Imperials had done what they had said, brought them back there and jumped them. He is, to be fair, well, besides that. This morning, Major Dario uh, came up to me when I was bringing some of the uh, Radad men back down from Krosky's when they were getting treated and told me that he needed my help to rearrest them. So we did. And with all the evidence, actually, I still have this paper on me. I never put it back. Just eye reports of people seeing them do things, walking with the Imperial, uh, the two of them. <sighs> Nothing good for them. After speaking with them myself and speaking with Tiberius, it is very clear that they did indeed do that. The main person who swung first actually had a pebble thrown in him from the Imperial, so he thought that he would get his payback this way. He said he wasn't going to kill him, he just wanted to teach him a lesson. I gave him a pen and quill and told him to write a confession because if you were to be honest and upfront, then I might be able to stop them from being executed. If not, <clears throat> then maybe his friends. If the Imperials begin executing Gradian citizens, that's not going to look good on paper or through word of mouth. That is what Tiberius told me. Yes. I already plan to talk to Dario about it. Let me and Nelsus try and get down there in the morning and see if we can figure something out. I if you can assist me in any way. I will wait to hear. That would be handy. I have all the reports. I've been the main one. I'm the one who arrested them first, so if you need my help, I will be there. Good. We don't want to give them the death penalty if we can avoid it. If anything, just... We can't do nothing, of course, but... No, we need to appease lashings the nobles. Plenty. Lashings or something more. Nobles are upset about this, considering one of them was supposedly under... my employment, or the Erhard's house employment, so it looks bad for us. So punishment yeah, will be done. Triton, yes, and, well... He is currently... We have two of them up at the keep, and the Triton, who is under the house's employment, is on the Imperial ship. Hmm. That shouldn't be right. I can't say no to this. Ah, no. Right. We have the elf and the human up at the keep. We'll do it in the morning. Thanks for coming to me. It is the least I could do for, well, everything that I've done. I wasn't able to stop the butchering of them when I was injured by that demon that came to town, but I can still try to make up for it. <sighs> Tillman is a long journey. I'll do my best to come to you about Anything that I hear. I feel that you could do well with information. Thank you. You're right. Me go home. I can take you there if you want. Let me change. Oh, 
hope you had a better do day than I did. Let's get you home, little wolf. I've done this a couple of times. Take it easy. Good boy.
Seems quiet here. Too much, okay. <sighs> I'll stay for a few hours, but I'm gonna have to leave in the early morning to get back to Nordus. You're doing great, by the way. Come on, I'll show you my terrible cooking skills. I'm sure there's some stuff lying around. Lena taught me this recipe. Involves carrots and honey. And you kind of like mix them together into this sweetened carrot kind of thing. Between that and so, Gregor, I should be able to make something edible. But I know how much of a connoisseur you are with food, so if this is insulting, we'll find something else to eat. <clears throat> Chat, roll a d20. Let's see how good Kyla cooks. Hmm. 
Getting there. Maybe just a little bit of salt. Would you like to taste it? Yeah. With a nine, it's subpar. <laughs> it's very salty. It's uh, definitely not the best thing you've tasted. Hmm, that bad, huh? Oh, well, you're brave. Yeah. I put away too much salt in her gun. Oh, okay. She likes salt. Oh god, she turned off the fire. <clears throat> I'll eat up. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy it at least. Mm, that's terrible. Don't choke. If you die because you eat my shitty ass food, <laughs> they will never forgive me. Was that good? You can get a full tummy now? You might be sick later, so be careful for that. You're right, little wolf. Are you worrying about them? Just everything. I meant what I said earlier, by the she way. gave me. Mm -hmm. She gave me that book, Kyler. The one where she thinks, or as if she knew that she was going to die. She has one of those potions, one of those life bloom potions that she made. She has that- She won't use it on herself. <laughs> yes, she will. She gave me her word.
She has a Goldrix chance with her. And she has that rune. That she promised me. Rune? Uh, something what, about... Uh, being able to touch it and... Disappear somewhere, like uh, Yendo did. Oh. She still has one of those. Would it... Oh, it did. It did work. Back in Kagovia. She said she'd probably end up over there, but she wouldn't be fucking dead. She promised me, and she promised Arn, that if things looked bad, she would use it. She'll come back. They got really bad. No matter how far in they were, he was to get everyone he could and get out. Turn around and get out. He didn't promise me. That's because he knows that I don't like promises. People who promise me things die. Just like Tarek and Katrina and Risa. Yeah, some of the strongest yeah, people those potions. <sighs> but we know what happens in those caves. Those ruins. Sometimes it just doesn't matter how much you prepare. Not agree more. If anyone is going to go down there, do what they need to do and get back out, it's them. No one else has those. No one else has that chance. They've got the experience. They've got each other. Why is this time so different? Why did Faye give me that look? about it. You in. It's okay to be scared. It means you're smart and you're thinking things through. You're not stupid.
It's okay. No matter what happens, I've got your back, all right? course. Nothing we can't handle if we stick together, right? I hope so. Yeah, me too. I like to believe it. I always feel like my strongest when you're at my back, I'll be honest. said safest. They have my book too. Especially with the shit Torty's been doing recently. problem. We should try and get some rest. I'm sure tomorrow's gonna be as bad as today, if not worse. What else is new? What else is new indeed. But we face it like we face every day. At a full sprint with our weapons drawn. Oh. oh, my controller died, that's why. Well, I was going to go to the memorial, but my controller's dead, so I guess I'll just pass out here too.